Well, it happened in like 1972 or 73. So, um... You do the math. I was born in 49. I guess I was about 24, 25. I was on the road with Sammy Davis at the time, and often we would cross paths with incoming acts or outcoming. We'd, they'd either be leaving and we'd be coming in, or we'd be leaving, closing, and they'd be coming in, and we would hook up, you know, and sometimes go out to dinner or hang out or whatever. So this is how it happened. I was on the road with Sammy. We were probably playing the Pine Knob Theater, because we used to come here and play that that um, that location, Pine Knob. And uh, so I saw Bill. He was a friend. I had been out many occasions with groups of people with Bill to dinner. We'd run into each other in New York or something, and that's why this was so shocking and surprising when it happened to me, um, because we didn't have that kind of relationship. We weren't We weren't attracted to each other like that, and there was no nothing like this. It wasn't about a sexual relationship. It was just about friends that knew each other. And he knew Sammy very well. So I was really shocked when it happened, really. Bill had, I called him first, um, and he said, listen, why don't you come by and take me to a party? There was a party on a yacht that he was the guest of honor, I would imagine. Um, and uh, he wanted me to bring ribs. There was a rib barbecue place back in the day in Detroit and um, so I said okay sure I'll bring you some ribs you know no problem so I arrived at the hotel knocked on the door um, he opened the door he was wearing a robe and a hat a cap and I stepped in and he took the ribs out of my hand set them down on the table shut the door pulled me to him spun me around and had his way with me um, it was very quick and very fast and it wasn't even there was nothing enjoyable or pleasant about it, shall we say. Uh, I was shocked because I had known him for such a long time and we had a friendly friendship relationship. And uh, it stunned me and it happened quick, fast, uh, bada boom, bada bing, over and out. I pulled myself together, went into the powder room, you know, straightened myself up and Bill went and got dressed came back out and joined me and we left, come on, let's go. We left, we went to get in the car and go to this uh, party, which I was driving him because that's why I had come there was to pick him up. Um, so that's what happened, uh, the actual uh, event. After this had happened with Bill, he became like a different person. This was not the same Bill Cosby that I had known all the years. It was like a different uh, person emerged, a different personality. So the whole evening was from that point on, once he took me and had his way with me, he changed his attitude, changed up. He got really moody and really dark, and um, he barely spoke two words to me the rest of the evening, and we went on this yacht where all these people were, so I went and mingled with the people. I got away from Bill. And as the evening went on, you know, all I could do was just couldn't wait for this boat to dock so I could get off and get in my car and get the heck out of there. That's all I wanted to do was get away because it was clear that once, it was as if Bill had, had morphed into another person, an ugly person. And um, it was just a very uncomfortable situation. I didn't tell Sammy about it. I didn't figure that it was uh, anything that uh, Sammy needed to know. He had a lot of his own personal problems and um, he had to do his shows and he had to deal with all kinds of other stuff going on in his life. and. I really didn't tell anybody, um, except I have a couple girlfriends in Los Angeles that I shared it with, but I, you know, it was very embarrassing what happened and how, uh, how he took advantage of me like that. Um, and I always like to feel that I'm in control and I have the power and I'm a strong woman. And so I didn't really find being a victim uh, an interesting tale to tell to anybody. And I guess I thought, too, maybe if I didn't talk about it, that it would probably just disappear and go away. And it kind of did, you know. Um. If you were to tell Bill Cosby one thing, well, if you were to meet him to this face, what would you tell him? Well, I would tell him that I'm really sorry that he had to do that to me, that he felt that he needed to add me to his list of God knows how many women. We were friends. 
And, I, you know, I knew him and his wife for many, many years, and I really admired them both, and I admire his wife. I think she's a lovely woman, and um, why did he have to do that to me? He certainly didn't need to. Why me? You know, why? I was a friend. He'd known me. He knew I was Sammy Davis's girlfriend. He knows my sister. So many women out there. And, and why? why did he have to do it the way that he did it when there were so many women throwing themselves at his feet everywhere? Why did he have to take advantage of women like this? What, you know, what is that about? I don't know. So that's it.